Okay, so my name is uh, Leonidas, or Leo for some people who know me. Uh, um, I'm the uh, director of, um, one of the directors of Mythic Games, which is a new company. Uh, and uh, I was a journalist for many, many years, and now I'm just involved in uh, game publishing. And uh, Mythic Battles is the first game that we are going to, to publish uh, through Kickstarter. So I'm the project manager, which is uh, for a game like this, which means <laughs> coordinating a lot of people. Uh, there are roughly f over 50 persons working on Mythic Battles, uh, which is a lot, and uh, it <laughs> which means uh, coordinating a lot of people. And those people can be uh, artists, uh, sculptors, uh, s people who make the, the who write uh, scenarios, uh, game designers, uh, uh, marketing, uh, all aspects. Uh, I'm just managing those people. Uh, and I also take part an active role in um, promotion. Um, we have done what we called uh, the Mythic Tour, uh, which is a Tour de France, of <laughs> uh, where we present uh, Mythic Battles to people who would like to try at, out the game. Uh, and we've been through many, many cities already. Uh, so far, we have done probably 450 game tests, public game tests, uh, which is uh, huge uh, for uh, any game. I mean, uh, better testing for uh, board games usually is not uh, that intense. So uh, we, we've done that and it's far from over because uh, since the uh, Kickstarter will only start at the end of October, early November max, uh, we will keep on doing uh, the Mythic Tour. And we are thinking of something for the, the English-speaking uh, fans uh, that we're working at right now. We shall be present, uh, we shall attend Gen Con uh, um, in, uh, well, this summer. But we have some other surprises uh, for the English fans because uh, there are more and more of them. Uh, even though we haven't really started communicating uh, in the uh, English-speaking countries, uh, for one reason, uh, Mythic Battles is published by Mythic Games and Monolith. And uh, it'll be the second uh, game published by Monolith, but Monolith did the immensely popular uh, Conan board game, but the, uh, Conan uh, has not been delivered yet. And we decided not to start, uh, not to to hit Kickstarter before Conan has been delivered. We, we think it's very important for the fans. It's very important to show that we uh, we are committed to delivering uh, an incredible game before we launch a new one. This is the reason why we haven't communicated more uh, on, on Mythic Battles yet. Uh, I mean, to English-speaking countries. We could do that in France because people know us. They know that there are two teams working on the two projects, like uh, Myth Mythic Games is completely involved just on Mythic Battles, and Monolith is involved in uh, delivering and, and finishing uh, Conan. Of course, they help us also on uh, all the production and all the the, the marketing and all the uh, the important choices we make, but, uh, but people in the U US wouldn't understand that. They would just see, okay, well, before you launch a new uh, project, just uh, give us the the one we uh, we already pledged for. <laughs> so this is the reason why. But now uh, we have we know that Conan is going to be delivered hopefully by October. So we have a date that we can announce, and so we can we can now focus more on the international market. So. Um, Mythic Battles was already released as a board game with no minis uh, in 2012, 2012. It was a very successful game. It sold out both in France and in the US where it was released. It was uh, published by Play and Win and distributed by Yellow. Uh, so the game had very good, uh, was very well received. Uh, people just didn't understand why it felt like a, a miniature games, but had no miniatures in it. So we, so 
when we decided to, that we would do mythic battles, we would completely redo mythic battles, uh, we, we decided to remain consistent with the first game because visually it was very, very good already. So uh, there was uh, an artistic direction for the first one, uh, which is, okay, everything you know about mythology uh, is there, but it is sometimes reinvented, uh, sometimes there are uh, some differences and it has to be epic and it has to be dark. So uh, this is what we wanted. We didn't want like uh, the typical mythologic uh, game uh, where you would, uh, uh, that you would see in the, in the old peplums, you know, we wanted something dark, something modern. This is very, uh, very important. So uh, we looked at the first uh, pictures we had for, for the game and we chose which one we would keep, which one we wouldn't. And when we hired some new artists, uh, we tried to stay consistent with uh, the first pictures. Uh, the, we had something important to do was to depict the gods, uh, which hadn't been done in the first game. There were no gods uh, in, uh, well, they didn't, you didn't see them in the first game, but in the new one, not only do you see them, but you play them. So uh, each, uh, each, car each player uh, will play one god and they will fight other gods and they will uh, recruit a warband uh, for that. So uh, the, the, the first artist who, who drew us a god was Stefan Kopinski, who is uh, an incredible artist that I've always admired. Um, I've always... I've admired him when he was back when he was working uh, at Games Workshop with his brother Carl uh, and uh, another friend of them who was Adrian Smith who worked on Conan. Uh, this time I chose uh, Stefan Kopinski because he's very modern. Uh, he's both um, uh, classic. He he's, he both has a classic and a modern style, which is uh, uh, strange but true. <laughs> so uh, when we saw the the first picture, the first piece of art that he drew, which was uh, Zeus, uh, we knew uh, that we we had the right guy. And uh, so far, what he's done is just incredible. But he's not the only one. We have a, a big team of artists, and actually, art is a, a key part of Mythic Battles. Uh, when people uh, look at the pieces of art we have, uh, they are emerged in our universe, and usually, uh, they already want to play. 